Okay, so we've kind of done a couple of activations now. Matt, you've shot me off the table and I've drilled you into a paste. One model of piece. Yeah. Um, so you would carry on kind of alternating activations until you've activated all your models. And then in the subsequent round, the person who finished activating all their models first gets to go first in the next round. We're playing in, in rounds. Yes. And then in will run around, everyone gets to win. Yeah, exactly. And the way it works is there's no set number of turns from the majority of the scenarios. Instead, what it is is once you reach a certain threshold of victory points, the game ends. Is that always by killing models or is it depend on the scenario? It depends playing? on the scenario. Okay. So, uh, yeah, if, if, this, if it's 18 points, let's say I need 18 victory points and I got to 18 victory points, that would then be the last round and then you would stop playing after so that. So you're constantly accumulating victory points, keeping an eye on, I guess, not just you, but your opponent as well. Yeah. Because you might want to realise that they're about to do something and to stop them changing your plans. Yeah. Because you think they're about to win. And depending on the scenario, different victory points will be worth, some of them will be worth two or one victory point as well. So, so like, say, in the in the kind of patrol, which is the standard scenario, you've got one victory point which is very close to you, which is worth one, and then you've got one in the middle, which is a bit more risky, which is worth two. So you can kind of decide which one you want to get and which one you want to go for. Okay, so now we're going to explain a little bit how objectives work. So okay. depending on the, upon the mission, the objectives will be spread about in the battle zone in different ways and they'll be worth different points. So at the minute we've got this one here, which is worth one. You can see on the back it's worth two. So okay. the scenario will tell you how many points that's worth. So unfortunately, it's your go. So I guess that means you're going to try and claim this objective. I think so, because this guy's unactivated, so he, he can go. Um, and I've got a jump pack. We talked about earlier, so actually I can get across to there. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do that. One, two, effectively. And now, does it matter if, do I have to be the only person in that, that cube to claim that objective, or, or how does that work? Yeah, so this, the scenario will tell you exactly how you're going to claim that objective. But yeah, typically, you can only be the only... Kind of, you can't have any enemy models in that cube okay. with you, otherwise, then it's contested. Uh, right, so I think some of these are probably going to try and contest it or claim it, yeah. get it off me instead. Um, now, do I score that now, or is it the. Is it the end, end of the round? Okay. So you, you tally up at the end of the round, um, and like I said, you know, if, 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 we reach, if I reached 18 points, then that's it, game over. If we both reached 18 at the end of the round, then it'd be a draw. And I can keep, so for every round, I would keep scoring yes. one for that. It's not one and done, it's one Yeah, and you keep, keep scoring. So that's it. why it's, if you can get a very strong model with a lot of armour onto these key objectives, then they can keep standing there and say, come at me, bro, yeah. while you <laughs> shoot them. Uh, so yeah, kind of getting in their early doors. And rats are good, obviously, for that, because they're very fast. So they can get to the, they can get to there quite quickly as well. Okay, well, as his, his second short action, he's going to uh, shoot one of these rats down below him, although he's kind of surrounded. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to shoot the big guy, okay. I think. So from where he is, I'm guessing that's a clear shot from up high, is it? Yeah. Okay, so that would be, so he's three three basic. Yeah. And your clear shot, you said, was two. One up, two. Okay. And I'm up high is another one. One. Yeah, wow. so you're on six. Okay, six dice. So you can see it quickly starts to add up when you... What the um, bonus is in. So I'm looking for my range stat, which is for a ranger, which is yeah. what it is. That is five plus. Now he's got a laser carbine, which has rapid fire. So I could use that to blaze, blaze away. away. Yeah. Uh, which pin, oh, so actually I could try and pin you and stop you getting up there. And the other one. Uh, and I've also got weight of fire. Now what does weight of fire mean? Uh, so has it got a number after it? it number should... uh, one. Okay, five, so a one. bit like um, when I had Frenzy yeah. on my... Uh, nightmare, it means you can re-roll one miss. So, oh, so, okay, so frenzies re-rolling, misses in assault, assault yeah. weight of fire is in shooting. shooting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot, why not? Okay. Six dice. Uh, so what did I say I needed? Five Fives. plus. Uh, okay, so that's definitely missed, the one. Yeah. The fours have missed, so I'll take those out. Now, I've got, so I can re-roll this one. Yep. Okay. And I've got an eight, so I can add another dice. That's right, yeah. Don't say okay. it. So, so you've got four. Four. So okay. you, now we're shooting, so you have to survive. Yeah. You can't fight back, okay. Uh, and again, no bonuses for me. I start on my three, uh, and in which case, I am trying to get, survive a four plus. Okay. So not too bad. So I'll move mine just like that here. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So I've got one at the minute. So that would take out one of yours. Yep. That's a difference of three. Yeah, I have got armor one. Okay. Have you got any armor piercing? I, not on that weapon, no. Okay. No. That would cancel out another one of yours. Okay. So actually, it's gone down to two wounds. Okay. Two HP. Yeah. Uh, so I would just put my little marker on. How many do you have? Uh, luckily, I have three. Three? Okay. I've just managed to survive. I've managed to squeak out of okay. survival. So I've done two short actions. So my guy is now baited yep. and uh, praying. Yeah. That's a free action. Okay. Uh, okay, so now, obviously, like you said, I kind of want to get in here. I don't really like the idea that this is contested. Yeah. So I'm going to move in with one of my rats. So scale up, climb up here, and attack there. So again, I can just choose where I want to put in the cube. It doesn't matter. They have to be in exact base to base. You imagine they're always sort of moving around. It's quite dynamic. So if I, if I could, I'd try and tuck myself in, maybe to avoid getting shot from someone below or something like that. Okay. So I'm going to do an, an assault. I would have three to start. So now, interestingly, I've got, I can do either fight back or survive. They're both, both five plus for a ranger. So it doesn't matter from that point of view. But if I survive, I'm not going to do you any damage if, yeah. I, uh, if I win. But otherwise, I would do you damage... I might as well try and fight back. Yeah, I if they're the same, you may as yeah. well try and. So and I it's start. Just three dice for the normal test. Yeah. Yes. Now okay. I start with three. Okay. I moved in, so I get an extra yeah. one. Um, obviously nothing to do with height or anything like that. I'm not a bigger size than you, but I do get a bonus because you're injured. Okay. So that's a, you know that's a signify the fact that you're probably as you're trying to punch me, you're probably <laughs> holding on to. Uh, you can smell blood. Yeah. So I would roll my dice. Now, my stalker is actually quite good at fighting, uh, and I've got four plus. Now, I haven't got any weapons here that say CC. Does that matter? No. So, kind of, they're always assumed to be armed with Something. knife or fists or, or whatever. So, they can always... So, that's what gives me my three dice. Yeah, basically. Okay. It might be that you're just punching me and hoping for the best. Uh, whereas, you know, they might have teeth and pistols and things like that. Like, for example, I actually haven't got any weapons that say what I've got. Okay. So, it, so CC is when it's something specialist and it's yes. going to have some special rules. Yeah, you know, like typically. Yeah. So I'll roll mine, so I need fours. So oh, I've got those come out. So I've got three at the minute. No, I've got no okay. abilities to re-roll or I anything like that. fighting back. No, nor, nor do I. So I'm just on five spies as well. Uh, none. <laughs> so the difference is all of your dice. Okay, so I've got three. So yeah, you've already taken one wound. Yep. So, so he is uh, very much Johnny dead. Trev. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And that would mean yeah. I am now claiming that objective. Okay, well done. Thank you. So yeah, at the end of the round, if you manage not to either kill this rat or kind of come on with one of yours, then that objective is all mine. There we go, Matt. So you have learned the basics, the very basics of Dead Zone. Obviously, as you get more experienced, you'll be looking at different weapons, which have different abilities. So you have things like grenades, which will be Know, exploding and potentially knocking you into walls and doing damage like that. You also might have weapons that kind of push you off uh, buildings as well, so you start to take damage for falling, unless okay. you've got things like a jetpack. But what we've covered there is kind of the basics to get you up and running so you can start having a quick game at home, so you can be running around, shooting, fighting, claiming objectives, and using your command dice. So Dead Zone 3rd Edition is in stores from October the 20th. Fifth. So make sure you get out there, give it a go, and we'll see you soon with some more battle reports. Bye everyone. Thanks.